Hello everyone and welcome to another interview down here in New Haven with Valet Pro. Um, we have Mark. Now you are the marketing guru. Guru is probably a bit of a strong it's word, but yeah. Person, yeah. marketing yeah. person. Marketing person, yeah. <laughs> um, now we've been chatting behind the scenes and trying to work out kind of an interesting point of conversation because you guys have got a bit of a challenge on your hands in that you've gone from primarily a B2B channel managed company and you've yeah. always talked to end users, yeah. but it's been, you've not, not protected by, but there's been this sort of this barrier between you guys. Yeah. And now, partly with the direct sales, partly with the increasing profile and taking it out there and embracing social media and all that, yeah. you've got much more um, straight direct contact to customers. And we're talking you know, about the challenge of making Valley Pro, which is a sensibly branded product, yeah. appeal to the slightly fickle buyer who might be drawn in by you know, glittery bottles and, and sort of weird claims. Of campaign, that. Yeah. And um, it was interesting because we basically came to the conclusion that it's about uh, being honest and being straightforward and being transparent. Yes. Yeah. And we both have a bitter hatred of those uh, Facebook videos where they're quick squirt, 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 and the car is suddenly clean. Job and done. Yeah. Exactly. So, from your point of view, what do you feel is, is got to be the thrust of the message that you want to put out to your potential customers? Um, well, the message is. Although, yeah, I, I know what you're saying about the sort of end consumer, and we've had, you know, the, well, we will continue to have our, um, our resellers in between us and the consumer because it's not direct sales, so to speak. We've always been on hand to sort of speak directly, and if the reseller wanted to put, you know, that, that consumer in contact with mm -hmm. us to answer any questions about our products, then, you know, it's our duty to do so. so we always do that, we always here. Which is a good thing, there, is, there are a lot of companies, as you say, once you've sold them yeah. the box or whatever, yeah. you know, that's it, that's the job done, not yeah. interested in supporting it, but to be offering that support direct to customers through reseller and direct direct is, 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 is a credit. I mean, there are many large car care companies who say that if you want to be phoning them up, you're going to be spending a long time before you talk to anybody technical. Yeah. Um, so you've got that element, and in terms of, I've seen you've been doing some YouTube work, and you've been doing quite a lot on the social networks. Yeah, we we do, but we're slowly sort of building it up. Um, as as we sort of discussed earlier, a lot of our sort of growth has been organic growth to this point, um, and you know, it's just exploring sort of new avenues and what, what works, what doesn't work, etc. So yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's sort of. Um, yeah, continuing. So in, in the world of, of car detailing products, I mean, we were talking earlier about which, uh, what are your customer demographics, and the problem is there are so many, because you've got yeah. maybe the older gentleman with an MGB, who's yeah. not on Facebook, but does read the newspaper and does read some of the sort of classic car magazines, then yeah. you've got the young kids who can't tuck in their shirts, they've got modified cars <laughs> and, and a drug problem, yeah. um, and accessing them is completely different. Okay. And then you've got the kind of the casual user who's Who's possibly not so much a market, but those who just want a shiny car, they're going to do it themselves, and they just sort of they go to Halfords or whatever, and they pick up some products, and it's that kind of complete beginner, but not that interested. They're just it's a it's a job. It's like cleaning the kitchen, and when I go to the supermarket to buy some surface cleaner, yeah. you know, multi surface cleaner, I don't care what I'm buying. I just buy the one with the flashy bottle, and I'm you know I don't, I don't get too passionate about my sieve. Okay, um, but I'm guessing that's not really the target. Um, not really. Uh, so. Yeah, as you say, it's, it's hard to put that sort of end consumer in a box, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It's oh, really yeah, about the no, fight will start. Okay. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's more about the you know the, the, the sort of person who cares about the finish of their car, the longevity of that sort of protection that they might be putting on that, the fact that the, the products they're using are safe for the vehicle and for their self, you know, for the user. And all so, so where do you find these people? That's that's the thing. Your your job of marketing is is, is approaching yeah. these people. How do you? How Fortunately, do you there are a lot of people out there who are interested in it. So you know, even sort of um, videos etc. We put out there. A lot of time, people go and you know search on YouTube. You know, a lot of the time, as I've said about the organic growth, a lot mm. of people do come our way looking for that sort of information. It's just supporting that sort of you know quest for information mm. they can phone up you know you know out your snow phones which would be the best you know mm. and you know finding out you know the, a little bit of history about you know what vehicles what level of experience so kind of they putting yourself out, out there so that people can yeah, find exactly it. you know yeah. whether it's they phone up or whether you know f from all around the world they could phone us up they could email us it could be a sort of via one of our resellers mm -hmm. um and at the end of the day, it, it, it helps us and you know we're, we're grateful for the fact that people have chosen Valley Pro as a brand and they yeah. want to use explore you know using our products so yeah it's, no, it's cool. and it's and it's I think it's important for people to know that they really can talk to you and I, th I think as yeah. you say putting yourself out there it's it's like people you know, this is a bit of a strange analogy but you know people who are eternally single 
and they're not and they're not doing anything about it. They okay. moan about being single the whole time. Oh, are you on any any dating site? No, no. Did you ever talk to me? No, no. I stay in my own, you know, at home <laughs> watching EastEnders, and I wonder, you know, and you sit there and you've got to get out there. You've got to do it. And, yeah, of course you have. And that's yeah. that's the thing. And I think um, with with Valipro, a lot of people, I think, word of mouth and by reputation and that organic thing that you're talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. is it's a gradual process, isn't it? It's not a quick it, fix. It is, it is gradual, but. Um, we hope it's a true process and a true reflection on the performance of our products mm -hmm. and the sort of care that we put into them, whether it's like an existing product that might have been out for a, for a while, making sure that we are continually, I know you've spoken to Josh, but about the formulations are as good as they can be at, yeah. at any time. And yeah, it's not just a case of, all oh, right, yeah, we finished that, that, that product's done and it's you know, selling well. It's a case of revisiting that. How can we better and, you know, how can, could we make this better so that how, you know that people are getting the best experience from using those products, mm. and I think, and as well as developing, you know, it helps us develop new products as well. You know, so. Well, exactly. As, as technology becomes available, yeah. Because sort of, I imagine the range when you started was based on what was available at the time, yeah. and, and now there's many more compounds and cleverness yeah. to help it work. Um, and also, in organic growth, you've had you know that 15-year run-up, so to speak, that springboard to a more a bigger presence. And I remember talking. Um, and to Greg, you were saying how you know they've, they've got quite an ambitious growth plan in terms of what they're wanting to do in terms of doubling and tripling size and all the rest of it in due course. Yeah. And their new routes to market and optimizing current channels and stuff. And I, I think it's really quite exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. Do you feel that? You feel that from it from is, working? and you know, even in so I've been with the company for just over three years now, and the last year just it's, it's just gone by in the sort of blink of an eye. And you know, we've got so many things that we want to do and things that we would like to have fit in, in in that time period. You know, but you can only obviously do so much. Mm. And you know, we want to do it properly as well. So it's yeah, it's got to be done very much by the book. I think that's exactly, clearly yeah. it's about pro way of doing things. Yeah. I mean your team here seems I've counted about eighteen people. Right? Yeah, about 18, I think it's seventeen. Seventeen? Yeah. Oh, it's something put the touch on and took it off. Yeah, yeah probably that's what it is. Yeah. Form, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, what do you, from, from your point of view with marketing, um, yeah. money no object, what is what would be your crown and glory, what would you love to do most? If, if you came to me and said, you know, the boss said, look, I really want you to push this out here, you can do whatever you like, here's a blank check, what would you is this do? Is this product specific or just... It would be to promote that, if you just took the money and then promoted something completely different, it would probably be that upset. No, 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 as in sort of, you know, would it be us? Having our own show, or yeah. would it be, you know, I mean, that'd be great, that would you know, be cool. but I oh, know it's been done out there, there's, you know, some yeah. big players out there, and You're it's right. not about sort of mussing in there, and it does all come down to so see bank balances, etc. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah. can invest. But um, it's a slightly silly question. Yeah. If I'm you know, this year, um, so we've done a lot of sponsorships in, in the past of events. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it, you know, Greg's always been sort of big into motor racing, etc. You know, so we, we've, we've, yeah, we've looked down that sort of route, etc., and that'll always be part of that approach. Um, but this year we're, mm -hmm. we're going to be attending events and being sort of face to face with a lot more of our sort of consumer type audience. Not necessarily there to, you know, to, it's essentially there to support resellers and so that we can have like face to face contact with, with the consumers, chat to them, they can physically hold, you know, the products in their hands and we can sort of, you know, yeah. But what about say open days on weekends and stuff like that? That's project something cars. Yeah, yeah, that's something that we're building on to. Project cars is, is a given. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm into my bike, so I'd like to go down the bike route, obviously, for okay. personal reasons. But um, yeah, open days is, is something that we want to do. And it's not necessarily just something that we, as a company, you know, we, we, we get requests all the time for people mm. to come and, and visit. And you know, even just, you know, checking out a warehouse, etc. We see it on a daily basis and sort of mm. we'll probably take it for granted, you know, what, what's going on, you know, but it's finding that time to sort of put our customers in, our sort of, so, so they can come and come and visit and, you know, have a look around, you know, whether we do something along the lines of, you know, coffee and, and cars or, you know, we, we've always been sort of, people, people can turn up, we might have, you know, seen bits today, people come along, if they've got questions or queries about car care, if they're local, then it's a case of, they do. oh, well, yeah. if you just want to pop in and we sort of show you how to do this on, on, on your paintwork or, you know, show you how to do these wheels or, you know, run through the steps of like pre-wash or even just like maintenance cleans, etc. You know, it's it's important that that sort of, that, that happens. Well, I mean, we had a 845 horsepower Supra turn up a second ago yeah, and start yeah, making a lot of yeah, noise yeah. and another white Supra next to it, which yeah. apparently work in progress. And of course, we've got the 360 that we've got some shots on, which is currently having some work done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, you know, trotting along, it's, it's quite a good, good day at the office when that happens, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we try and make that as sort of, 
frequent as possible. You know, you've got to have that enjoyment factor of, of it as well, and obviously speaking to that consumer, mm. you know, about genuine car care. It's a two way of, thing, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah, you know, and it, yeah, it, it's about, you know, being mindful of the of the basics, mm. you know, the daily washes and, you know, the, you know so the, the, the maintenance tasks. The daily washes, yeah, the daily yeah. washes. Well, some people do. Yeah. Elliot does, yeah. <laughs> or he would do if he had the opportunity. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's key just being sort of true to the true whole nice. experience, and it's not all just about the corrections and you know the sort of the protection levels. As much as that's sort of the sexy side of things, and you know the snow foam shots and all the sexy mm -hmm. shots, you know there's there, there's more to it. I mean, like Josh probably uh, said to you, you know, we were looking for a product to mark, but it's, you know, I'm, I've always been a little bit hesitant, you know, saying to to you know, it's not a case of. We don't want it to be seen as though we're just bringing out products every month just because to so bring out products every month. It's, okay. it's a product which is genuinely missing from our range, mm. or it's an improved version of something that we've, we, we've got going on. So and that, that's yeah. important, you know. It's, um, well, I think what's really key here, is, and we've shown it with the lab, we've shown it with everything else that you're not white label. Because yeah. that's the other thing, is you do get these companies that pop up and they're like, oh, we've got a full range of 40 products. Oh, how have you done that? Well, because yeah. yesterday I was working for this and now I'm yeah. doing this. And everybody just knows, well, you've just gone to the car chem or the euro chem or the whatever, the A chem catalog and said, I want one of those, one of those, and I want them all to be blue or something. Yeah. Um, and I think that's that's important. I don't think I don't think that we're often thinking just back in memory gets accused of that no. um, as being a, a relabeler. I think it's... But if anything, that probably stemmed, has stemmed a lot of our growth, whereas some sort of companies out there might have added lots of products to their range, mm. you know, all at one go. You know, sometimes it can be a little bit sort of not not demoralising, but you know, you, you see it and you're like, how how is that even possible? Because we sort of spent so much time doing this and going back to some forwards. Even you know, name, names are certainly very, you know, but mm. it's the, the actual formulations and how would this be used? And you you've all, you've got foolproof that sort of formulation. And I know that's sort of a little bit more that's more out of my sort of range, but I obviously do get to try on the mm. products etc. as well. It's just a bit of a team sort of effort. And it's yeah, but making just, sure just that the label's done. I mean, you know how difficult it is. You've got to yeah, design the labels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to print the labels. You've got to check everything works. You've no, got to get all the, the regulations the on. The labels are a big thing, and you know, obviously, Jess, our graphic designer, mm. I don't know if she's been mentioned too much. You know, oh, she's better downstairs. Jess, Jess is key in that. You know, yeah. and without without Jess's thought, that would never sort of. <laughs> there are other <laughs> elements. You know, there are other elements which come in. You know, we down to label compliance, down mm. to you know MSDS sheets, etc., etc. You know, it's a it's a constant thing, and all the time we bring out these products, there's, there's always something to do. You know, the, the, yeah. the, this place can never be accused of. You know, you, ne you can never be bored. Yes. Yeah. You know, the, the, the day just sort of flies by and before you know you're like, why me? Yeah. You know, where, where's that going? Well, what I love is, is you've got that kind of nice balance between. Small business yeah. and corporate stuff, yeah. and obviously in terms of tone up, because I think you're running about two million or something like that. Mm. So that puts you still in the SME sector, but obviously massive, great big premises, mm. really complex route to market in terms of yeah. not just in terms of channel, but in terms of from product conception, product development, product yeah. production, product distribution, product sales. Yeah. It's a long chain from that idea. But at the same time, in small business, everybody's a, a jack of all trades. Yeah. You know, when you run your own business, you have to. One minute you're talking to legal, next minute you're doing accounts, yeah. the last minute you're doing sales. Yeah. And actually, there's still quite a lot of that here. I can see quite a lot. Yes, you've got a specialised graphic designer. Yes, you've got specialised cameras. Yeah. But yeah. There's a lot of overlap. Yeah, there, there is, and it's sort of you know, whether you're in the office, you know, everybody sort of chips in, and if a certain task needs to be done, it's a case of, you know, who can put in the sort of time, even if it's sort of you know. Yeah, they're yeah, catching up with orders, or whether it's sort of you know recently with our labour machine sort of decided to sort of give up I the ghost, that, you know, like, yeah. a new one, and you know, yeah, it's great it's coming, but it's after the sort of Brexit, there I say it, sort mm. of surge of orders came in. So it was a case of a lot of people labelling yeah. bottles, you know, and yeah, uh, all hands on deck. But the thing is, it needs to be done. If it, if it isn't, then you know we're gonna, only going to upset our customers, which isn't you know. Which you want to refrain from doing at all costs. Yes, generally speaking, it's, um, yeah. it's suboptimal. Yeah. So. Uh, so I bet that you have filled bottles, labelled bottles, yeah. taken things to couriers, yeah, when, when taken orders. All, yeah, all of that, and um, it's, it's it's more a case of I've ended up where I am within within the business because of I, I hope I sort of put myself out there and mm -hmm. you know always there to try and help as everyone else does because it is that family feel to the mm -hmm. company. Um, 
But then it's that, it's that flexibility to be able to do all those things, and also um, then you've got the you know the, the new management sort of team, so yeah. to speak, the trio, and they're very much big business and finance and, and sort of what do you call it? He call it kept on calling it double sigma or something like that, sort of management <laughs> yeah, systems. Well, yeah. And I was just like, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's that. It's, it's having that balance, you know. You, you do obviously have to have that, especially growing as yes. a business. But it's also being mindful of the fact that you know everybody is able to help build orders. Everybody is able to you know knows the whole order process, mm. knows how to sort of deal with handling with uh, customer sort of phone calls and contact. And you know it might, might be the case that we've had you know uh, some of our resellers who aren't from this area. They, mm -hmm. they might just be passing. They just drop in. And yeah. why shouldn't we accommodate them if they if they turn up? You know because they're showing an interest in us. Yeah. I, I get the feeling if, for example, plague hit this particular part of New Haven and yeah. half the staff were at home being plaguey, yeah. that you would still actually be a bit British about it and get on with it yeah. and, and it would still be running. Yeah. Whereas well, I know with yeah. a lot of organisations, you know, if a couple of important cogs get removed, yeah. the whole thing just tumbles down. So no, it's, it's, it is good and, and I very much mean what I say when I say it feels like a friendly place. Yeah. You know? Glad to so. think so. So either you should get into Amdram or... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think the answer is, in the coming year or two, yep. um, keep an eye on Valipro. I have a strong suspicion that they'll start having much more presence at the shows. I think they'll be much more talked about. Um, and as I said, it's, it's about just good products, and it's not the fashion, it's not the Vogue, it's not the stuff that's going to come today and gone tomorrow. Um, and it'd be really interesting to see these new products coming out. I've, having talked to Josh about it, he, yep. was, he was very much sort of tired for a start from having done all the work. <laughs> but um, he was pretty excited about it, and he definitely has got very, he's, he's a promising, you know, he's only what, 23, 24. I think so, yeah. Real promising talent there. Yep. And obviously, Greg, everyone I've talked to here behind the scenes, off the cameras and everything, um, they've all got the utmost respect for him, and they like the kind of the family atmosphere, and they yeah, feel that's it's what's a, about. a nice place to work. And I've got that, it's not just a front, you know, I've, I've been wandering around, hiding in corners, pretending to tip over IVCs, this sort of thing, just generally trying to cause trouble. And, and it's all been great. So, um, no, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I know we're going to go down and talk to Elliot, who's your tame detailer. Yep. I we keep calling them tame detailers if wild ones are roaming the countryside, sort of causing trouble. But, um, and he's working on that Ferrari with some uh, compound, I believe, that Josh has been trialing and playing around yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has indeed, yeah. So he's um, using, obviously, it's been tried before before we let it go loose on a, on a Ferrari, on a Ferrari, obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just a development product, which mm. sort of, yeah. No, it's cool. And there's a lot of, of testing behind them. I mean, I was talking, Josh, and you were saying, yeah, these products are all coming out quite rapidly, but actually yeah. they've been in development for. Yeah, I mean, time. we've had a, a year of not really sort of bringing out main, other than sort of accessories, uh, you know, bringing out new releases. And that's just because of the work. You know, we had a big move uh, just over a year ago to the new premises, which could basically um, see us into the future, you know, for you know, the yeah, foreseeable how, future. How do you when you've got shipments going out every day all over the world. And yeah, then suddenly, it was crazy. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a busy, 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 yeah, busy, busy time. A yeah. uh, lot of coffee, not lot of coffee. coffee. Yeah. Not but um, yeah, we, we've got there, and it's a continuing sort of continual process, really. There's a lot of excitement around here. There's a lot of optimism, and yeah. I can tell. There's a lot of stuff also that we can't necessarily talk about on yeah. camera yet, um, but that I've been kind of let into slightly. And from what I can tell, it's it's, it's interesting times ahead. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, um, it's been an absolute pleasure, Mark. Thank, Thank you, very, you much. very much for your time, and uh, time to go down and see what's happened to this variety. Yeah, we do. Cool. Thank you.